Life has betrayed me once again. The Pleiadians Book, a collection of channelings, by Barbara J. Merchiniak. Barbara J. Merchiniak has been a student of metaphysics for many years. She gives credit to the sect material channeled by Jane Roberts for her insight into the necessity for conscious, intentional creation of personal experience. Barbara travels extensively. In Athens, Greece in May of 1988, she began channeling the Pleiadians after she and a group of friends experienced a spiritual awakening in the Great Pyramid at Giza. Barbara currently lives in Raleigh, North Carolina where she gives class sessions and workshops with the Pleiadians. The Pleiadians are a collective of extraterrestrials from the star system the Pleiades. They call themselves our ancient family because many of us came here from the Pleiades to participate in the new experiment of Earth. Remembrance is awakening of the soul. Chapter 1, Awakening. Good evening. We are your ancient family. We come from the star system the Pleiades. We know ourselves as the Pleiadians and we, Ians at Go, millions of years ago, were your relatives. When your Earth sphere, Terra, was being formed, there were many who expressed an interest to be pioneers and to go to a new area to learn to experience, to formulate, to create. That was the opportunity and many of our dearly beloved Pleiadians signed on. The Pleiadian culture is ancient. It was seeded from another universe, a universe of love, a universe that moved back to all that is. The Pleiadians seeded the Pleiadian star system within this universe before the Earth's sphere transfer became available. We formed a tremendous society. We operate with love. We operate with ideas and ideals that you're totally unfamiliar with. Our technology in your terms would be somewhat similar. We are, in your terms, computerized. We like that term because it represents an overall picture of our abilities. The picture actually only represents 1% of what we are capable of doing. However, from your point of view, think of us as a computerized society. We are collective energy. We are not of your dimension. The star system of the Pleiades has seven stars, six of which we believe you may see from the naked eye. There are many planets and we are millions upon millions of miles from your system though we have transportation that can bring us here very quickly. We have many modes of transportation, mostly we come in starships, often motherships. The motherships are gigantic, one of your miles, housing thousands. They are elongated, one of our fashions, and would take, in your terms, days to transport itself here. We have disc ships which can be here quickly, within portions of your day. We have difficulty at times translating your time system, your hours, your minutes, into what is relative to our system, perhaps less than one quarter of your day. We are an advanced civilization. Our technology is ancient because it is coming from another universe that has evolved back to first cause. We chose not to evolve back to first cause but to go on out of love, to assist the growth of this universe. We were allowed to bring that knowing with us because our technological development is totally in line with the first cause and we would never operate in any fashion that did not support the love and development of humanity of all creatures in all of this universe. So we were allowed to be here. We were welcomed. We are the ambassadors, in this star area, this universe, from another universe. We are working with many, not just with Terra, the Earth. We are working in other solar systems, with other planetary creatures, with other creations. This universe is a vast and new experiment. Different options, we like that word, are being attempted here. Free will reigns in this universe. On Terra you think you have free will but you do not really understand what free will is. Free will encompasses the complete idea that whatever it is that you're wanting you may have and your sole point in choosing to partake in the planetary system within this universe that has free will was so that you may do whatever it is that you wish. Terra was formed with specific intents in mind. It was formed to be a center for this solar system, a trade center, a launching pad for ideas. Much like, as different portions of your globe have developed, and different port cities, or areas came into fashion and represented trends, cultural advancements, exchanges of ideas at different points in time, and then fell by the wayside, 
The ideal of Tara's role would be the jewel within the universe for its beauty physically to the eye, and this physical beauty would be beheld not just in one dimension but in many dimensions. That it would be a center of tremendous beauty, of tremendous exchange, of freedom, of ideas and beauty and love and peoples, humanities, creatures from all of this universe and star system ideally would have come here and exchanged what it is they had, as goods would be exchanged in the marketplace, with others. Now, as you know, that has not taken place. Fortunately that is changing. Unfortunately, hands in your past, events occurred that were not anticipated, for when one deals with free will one never knows. There are no expectations with free will, just intentions and hopes. And even intentions sometimes may be transmitted. Now, that was the original intention. Then eons ago, millions of years ago, there was a disruptive force that became quite pronounced in this area of creation, experimenting as it would be, with another form of being. This experimenting was not evil, it was just another point of view. We speak in very neutral terms so as not to lay blame or prejudice on anyone. This disruptive force affected Terra greatly. It threw the cosmic forces, the hierarchies and the vast confusion. And it has been all these eons, these millions of years that this has been attempted to be righted. Now, through the last thousands of years we have been assisting the higher spiritual forces, those from the first cause. Our assistance we freely gave because original family members came to this experiment of Terra and then when those disruptive energies became prevalent and changed the intent of what Terra would be we lost contact with our family members. It was very sad for us, for we had never anticipated this loss, being that we as Pleiadians are highly evolved and of great knowing and great connectedness with the first cause, we knew that this was a temporary loss of family members, though temporary in our terms was millions of years. And though the initial shock was felt literally throughout the universe and universes, we formulated a plan and knew that there would be a time when we would be reunited. We are your family members who lost contact with you eons ago. We have come to retrieve you. We have come to re-establish contact, to assist you, so that you can now reunite with us, liberate yourselves and choose to come back to the Pleiades or to stay here on Terra and raise the vibration and allow Terra to become what it was originally planned to become, the International Exchange, Intergalactic International Trade Exchange Center for the Universe. Now, as you may well know, that upon looking at your planet you can shake your head and say, goodness, we have ventured far from our original goal. And, indeed, that is true, you have. However, at this time events are manifesting on your planet that are about to change all of that. It was known eons at go that there would be a point where the energies would be right for contact, for adjustments, for receiving energy for realignment. It was hoped that that juncture would be reached through the opening of that free will bodies, by their own choice, through love. That is not the case. You have reached critical times. It began peaking 30, 40 years ago, and the activities that have been occurring on this sphere have been of great concern to all within your universe. The lack of love for humanity, for one another on this planet. Separations of self from self. The missing of the message that you are all one, that you are all connected, that what one does affects the other. Know that there are many millions on the planet out of the billions, who are awakened, who are moving toward the enlightenment, moving towards the acknowledgement of the first creator, in whatever minuscule way they can conceive of this vast entity. What is happening on your planet at this time is that the energy of the first creator, is being presented to the planet as a whole. When we say as a whole, there are no groupings that would be select over others. The opportunities exist for everyone. It is the individual humanity's choice to acknowledge the opportunity that presents itself. The awakened ones will be assigned, so to speak, to awaken someone. First creator energy is now being made available to the planet, on a vast level, vast. It's encircling the sphere. Light frequency is bombarding your planet, though only those who know how to use this energy can feel it. It is as if an invisible force is in your lives and if you are not aware of this invisible force, you will not see it. Now, if the awakeners approach the awakearies with love, with intent of service, with intent of changing the planetary potential, the planetary history, and also are willing to bond unconditionally with the awakening, it will be successful. 
In most cases, those that need now to be awakened are working about this in their dream state and they are in a state of confusion in their waking world and so they are welcoming something that will give them greater power and direction. The awakearies will need guidance for a short amount of time because of the energy that is available but the knowings will happen very quickly, then they, too, will awaken and empower others. The more members, the greater members of humanity that are in knowing, the easier the times ahead will be. We are working, sitting at the edges of our seats. When we say are, we mean our beings, the star individuals, the star families, the spirit guides, the ascended masters, the callers from the great cause, the first cause. There are many here. The skies, the atmospheres are full, so to speak, of who we are keeping Terra in force, keeping it alive and vibrant, glowing, and also respecting your free will at the same time. That is why we say the awakenings are so important at this time. They are a prime concern. Individual Awakenings Word of Mouth It is the best way of accomplishing what it is that needs to be accomplished. Word of Mouth Books are fine. Tapings are fine. But one individual loving another individual liberates, frees. And that individual goes off and creates and affects many others. That is how the process will occur, as we see it. We stated earlier that Terra is a free will district along with the entire universe, however, there is a code of honor that exists along with free will. And that code of honor represents the respect for life. All of life. The respect and the commitment to no violation of life. The honoring of life is paramount and allowing that life. Now, millions upon millions of years ago when the disruptive forces came in and changed all of that, free will was granted still and we stepped back and saw and watched and knew that there would be a time when all of this would come to an apex, as it would be said when the changes could be made. Disrupted forces have come again. This time they will not succeed. However, the energy is of great influence on the planet at this time because of the technological development and the extent of this technological influence throughout the planet. We ask that each person individually speak to another. At this point very powerful individuals are being awakened. Those individuals who affect other people, who influence other people are those that are awakening at this time, and are being awakened by those who made agreements, contracts eons ago to perform this service. We see that there will be changes geographically, great changes. Because the changes represent the most benevolent way of realignment. If there were to be great destructions, and there will be some destructions along the lines of warrings, if that were to be the prevalent case upon the entire sphere, it would affect the cosmos so greatly, that in this case it cannot be allowed. The changes that will happen on the surface of Terra are not definite. They will not be definite until they occur, until energy peaks. The energy will be peaking partially through what's happening on the globe, also through planetary and cosmic influences. The closer you may move towards the misuse of the technology, then, of course, Mother Earth, a living, viable, breathing entity, would shift itself rather than destroy itself. The shifts will be of a healing nature, much as the ill person may experience the tremendous fevers and burn and sweat and shake and then heal themselves. If Mother Earth did not shift herself and the misuse of technology would be a prevalent paradigm, do you know what would occur? It would be the destruction of the universe. We do not wish to be annihilated in misuse of your technology on your planet could annihilate a universe. Contemplate on what we are speaking for it is profound. Many of you are looking for blacks and whites and the universe exists in gray areas. It is not the way you think it is. There is life teeming everywhere that you cannot see. There are many dimensions, there are many forms of beings. What happens in your dimension would affect us all because the building blocks of the universe, of the cosmos are connected. The atoms, the elements are all one. They are universal. Universal tools, so to speak. And through the misuse of one, in one segmented area, it would affect many others. So that is why we say, we are tuning Mother Earth to this knowing. Mother Earth knows this potential happening and would shift herself when the time and the danger becomes great. Understand that all of these changes are contingent upon the awakenings. If the awakenings happen very quickly and those within the governments, within the arms industries, those within the publishing, communicative areas, television, newspaper, movies, if those influential people on the planet are awakened quickly, all could shift. 
Mother Earth will do whatever is necessary to realign for her own survival. We are saying that if your intention is to step into the times ahead with joy and experience and be a partaker, a conscious partaker of the movement that the planet is selecting, then clearly think of what it is that you want, intend it, plan on it, and then trust that the part of the body located in the solar plexus will guide you along with the heart to be where it is you need to be. If you are clear in your plannings, if you count on it, if you state it matter-of-factly, step into the knowing, not the thinking, but the knowing beyond all shadow of a doubt that you will be here in joy, in harmony, in happiness, in creativity, and in greater rejoicing of building the world, the civilization that you all desire, then so shall you be. Now, think of that for a few moments and choose what it is you want. Examine your hearts about what it is you are wanting. Throw by the wayside those things that are not important to you and put your energy, your thoughts, your hearts, into what it is that is most important. And do not, under any circumstances, be afraid of making a change, for change is going to occur whether you select it or not. So, by consciously selecting a change, whether it be a move, or what have you, it may be your method, your means, of moving into the times ahead. Do not resist change. Flow. It may come in the area of relationships, the breakings up or the coming together. It may come in the area of employment or a lack of. It may come in the area of sudden abundance presenting itself to you a lack of. All these events will motivate you towards something. We ask that you go inside, trust the feelings. Trust yourself. One of the most beneficial endeavors that you will be involved with is forming the extended families. With a networking of 30 to 50 people it will be very powerful. We also wish to speak of the availability of outside communication that is waiting to speak with many of you, that is speaking with each and every one of you though you do not acknowledge it. Vast numbers are willing to help. We ask you to examine your hearts, relinquish your fears, move towards what it is that will be most important. We suggest, and we will assist in these endeavors, that through your dream states you dare to dream of possibilities that seem outlandish. Awakened ones and those becoming awakened are being fed information through the dream state from the vast numbers and given so-called ideas. Instigated information. Potentialities of abilities that are far beyond what is available now on the planet. And these will be fun things. These will be joyful things. These will be loving things, healing things, successful things. Play with your dream states and when one of these crazy ideas comes to you, grasp onto it like a hot air balloon and ride it for a while over the topography of yourself and see where it will take you. We ask you to approach these times with an open mind, a creative mind, a loving mind, to move into the self. To trust the self. Open the heart. To connect with humanity, to awaken the others. To be gentle with who you are. For your difficulties you will lay down as they are old clothes that you will no longer fit into or wear. Your aches, longings and difficulties can all be laid to rest as you move into this great new garment of being. Many will be petrified of moving into this time for much must be relinquished. Much must be changed and given up. However, we are saying that if the earth itself did not change in its seasons, it would be pretty dreary indeed. And so fall needs to come in the winter set to rest so that in spring there may be regrowth, revitalization and awakenings. This is what you'll be experiencing. We have committed to guide you on this time. There are many who are here loving you, assisting you, doing whatever is necessary. Open your hearts. Open your eyes to what is coming. Do not be afraid. Know that you are surrounded by love and energy greater than at this point you can fathom. So great it is beyond your knowing, though a part of you knows that greatness and brings it to yourself. We trust that what we have said empowers you, enlightens you, guides you to who you need to be. Move forward. Move in love. Feel the connectedness of all that is. Look into the eyes of fellow humanity and see yourselves for your there. Bless each one with the knowing that you have and your awakenings will be greater than you ever imagined. Call on us for assistance and we will come to you. We send you our blessings, our dearly beloved friends. Hello again, YouTube folks. This was the first chapter of the Pleiadians book. I hope you have enjoyed it, and begin to think about the necessity of change in human behavior towards others and towards the planet itself. Thanks for watching the video.
If you enjoy it, hit like and feel free to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell icon to receive notification about upcoming videos. I hope you have a great day and have realized that our own attitude is what is going to begin to produce the change.